What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben, your host. So today when it comes to watchOS 11.1, I'll be happy to let you know that we actually have a brand new software update as you can see right here. And this is the latest beta of this update. So if we go into our settings right there and then go to general and go to software update, you can see this is developer beta 4 of watchOS 11.1 and on my Apple Watch Ultra 1, it comes in at 432 megabytes and I was updating from watchOS 11.1 beta 3. The update I'm coming from was really bad, horrible. The stopwatch would literally crush the Apple Watch application. It's like it was meant to do that where the stopwatch stops the Apple Watch and at the same time if I was to press the digital crown multiple times it would also crash so i can't wait to update to this and install it on my device right here but at the same time just to keep you in the loop this is not all that apple released you can see they released vision os 2.1 beta 4 we also got watch os 11.1 beta 4 of course this is the video for that and tv os 18.1 beta 4 mac os 15.1 beta 6 i already did a video on that and we got ios and ipad os 18.1 beta 6 if you're on the public beta version most of these updates also came out and you will see like if you're on the public beta ios 18.1 public beta 3 so irregardless of what beta or version you're updating to you have an update today because apple released everything from the get-go so let me quickly update my device and then we're gonna see what are the new features and changes that this update has to offer so just like that my device is now up to date and you get the notification shortly but let's go now and see the software changes that this update has to offer if we go into the settings go to general and then go to the about you can see the build number that we have it's uh, watchOS 11.1 with the build number 22R5569A so this build ends with an A and that's actually good news because once we start to see A builds it means that we are closer to a final release and these updates are now getting more stable and just to confirm on the Apple developer page for watchOS 11.1 developer beta 4 right there you can see this build number 22R5569A matches what we have right Right here this is good to check because the previous watchOS 11.1 beta 3 actually said a different build number on Apple's developer website compared to the build number that people were actually getting on their devices so that was an issue but at this point in time it seems to have uh, been resolved and it's back to its normal default it's a very rare miss from Apple what we saw last week or with the last update and now let's talk about what's new with this update so the first new thing that has changed has to do with the virus application so there was an issue where many users were complaining about the virus application getting false notifications and from what i've been able to find online since this update came out about four to six hours ago a lot of users have said that that issue has been resolved and the virus application should be okay for you now and then another thing that's new with this update has to do with the notifications to be specific the new sleep apnea notifications that a lot of users are expecting so you can find that by going into your health app on the iphone so if you open up your health app go to the browse section and then under the sleep section if you go down you find the section that says sleep apnea if you click there you can read all about sleep apnea and then if you want you can do the sleep apnea notifications right there and under this section it will tell you that you can get these notifications and if you want to turn them on you can go into your settings and turn on these sleep apnea notifications now for me if i go into the browse section right there and search for apnea just like this you can see the notification comes up now under this section for me on my apple watch you can see that this page has been updated for me they've added or lengthened the paragraph as well and at the same time you can see the glyphs and icons that we have uh, were updated but you can see here when we go to the uh, sleep apnea notifications it says unavailable and it doesn't say it's unavailable in my country or region it just says sleep apnea notifications are not allowed are not available 
on your Apple Watch. And that's true because I the Apple Watch that I have right here is the Apple Watch Ultra 1. The sleep apnea notifications that have been enabled in this update of watchOS 11.1 Beta 4 going forward are only supported on the Apple Watch Series 9, Series 10, and Apple Watch Ultra 2. So I thought about it, but I was like, you know, should I really upgrade my watch and buy like an Apple Watch Ultra 2 from an Ultra 1 just for one single feature. For me, it didn't really make sense, but if you have the Series 9 or Series 10 or the Ultra 2, then you will be able to see the sleep apnea notifications and you'll be able to enable them on your device. Just to let you know some of the things, this is the screen that you're going to be seeing when you have a supported series. So it's gonna welcome you to a screen that looks like this way. Uh, there's a possible sleep apnea notifications and it will prompt you to be able to discuss this with your doctor. You can export the findings that the Apple Watch gets with like a PDF format. And you can also be able to read more about the sleep apnea notifications. And of course, once you go into your health application and go into the settings, the notifications will be turned on and you will receive a notification if your Apple Watch detects signs of sleep apnea. And you can basically turn that on and off depending on your need. Now, one of the issues that I was experiencing with the previous update of watchOS 11.1 was that if I would press my digital crown like this, as I'm doing multiple times, my Apple Watch would actually freeze and become unresponsive. And that would, it would freeze on a certain screen for about 30 seconds. And then after that, it would restart. But after updating to beta 4, you can see that that issue, at least for now, by now, if I was on the previous update, my watch would definitely have frozen. And then if we go into the stopwatch and go to the different texts, unlike the previous update where text would become overlaid like in an unorganized way and then end up freezing and restarting the Apple Watch, this at least for now from the time I've been using this has been resolved. So let me do the stopwatch and continue to press like this. So yeah, it seems like that issue at least for now has been resolved. It was kind of a serious issue and it's the reason why Apple pulled watchOS 11.1 beta 3 which was the previous update and then of course one of the other issues i was experiencing on the previous update was the camera controls you can see here it's much faster unlike the previous update that we saw so now i can be able to come and record you know using my device and i can also be able to do the mirroring if i'm monitoring something i can do that without the delay that was there and that's something that apple has fixed which is good when it comes to the continuity camera and it also was patched in the latest ios 18.1 developer beta 6 update and the other thing that i wanted to mention is whether you should install watchOS 11.1 now at this point of the game we are already on an a build which means that maybe we might see another beta and possibly after that a release candidate version and then we might see the release of watchOS 11.1 and when this update is going to be released is actually not too far off because according to Mark Gurman Apple is looking forward to releasing these updates on the 28th so that will be iOS 18.1, macOS 15.1, watchOS 11.1, among others. So on the 28th, that's where most sources seem to point at. So at this point in time, if you aren't on the beta, I would say it's not worth it. But then if you're on the previous beta 3 that was freezing and forcefully like restarting your device, then this is probably a better update to go to. As for me, at least from the things and the functions that were triggering my uh my uh, panic system panics have been resolved at least for now are continuously tested and if there is an, like emergency issue or if i find something serious then i'll make another uh like public service announcement video like my previous one that i did a couple of days ago to warn you that this update is not stable but from what i'm seeing right now it seems like that uh, issue has been resolved. So just my quick two cents right here or my take when it comes to this update. Let me know what you think about this video. Please give us a like as it helps us reach a broader audience. And if you enjoyed the video, subscribe so that you don't miss out. My name is Ben and I'm signing out. Peace.